how to create an abstract painted design such as this in Photoshop. Key thing, gradients. Go to the gradient tool, here it is, the gradient tool, and then go up here to the top left, and you've got the gradient palette. You've got here legacy gradients. This one's a rainbow one, I'm using that one. Go with linear and different, and apply. Apply it multiple times, change the length, change the angle, and also the start point. So you can see the design there. You can, of course, create millions of possible designs. Then go to the history panel. What you need to do is set a source, and that is down here on the left side. So just go here, you can find the panel in the window menu along with all the other panels. So just click here. Once you've done that, now I can clear this. So I'm just gonna to go to edit and fill and put it back to black. Now you don't have to do that because I'm gonna create it on a layer. So that's the key thing, go to layer and new. And it makes it so much easier if we create it on a layer. So click okay. Now I'm gonna use the art history brush with that source. So down here, this here, this gradient is going to be the source material for the art history. And you can find the art history here. Now, it might be in a different position if you've modified your panel here. So art history brush tool, select that. Make certain the brush is very small, four pixels, five pixels, and also use maybe a star design as the brush. I think that works best. You don't have to, but I always find that that's the best one. Please check out my videos on how to create a lovely brush for that art history. Also normal, 100%, loose medium, 50 and zero. Now apply it in the center. You don't want to go over the edge because you create a nice sort of sharp line. Don't want that, but this is on a new layer. So now I can move it, reposition it. So if I want to, I can just crunch it, make it tinier and so on. And I can select, so selection, and I can select this area. But also I'm just going to delete the background. Don't want the background, so I'm just going to go here, click that, delete, yes, it's gone. So I'm just going to create a pattern based on this design. Now, of course, the design you create will obviously vary from this. Edit and then define pattern. Click OK, I also give it a name. Now the document's 2000 by 1000. You can, of course, create any size document. Now you've got your pattern preset. What you can now do is go to Edit and Fill, and you can go to here, Contents, and you can go to Pattern. So Pattern, and then you can select that pattern. So you've got Custom Pattern here. Now, obviously, I've got one that I created earlier, so I'm just gonna Select the one I've just created, which is this one. So click there. And then you can set the script. And this is the one I'm going to use, random fill. So script on, random fill, and normal. Click OK. And you'll see this design. Now the result, the end result, will not match exactly the preview. I and mean, this is very intense. If you apply it 10 times, you probably get that. So set the scale factor fairly low, and that fairly low. Color randomness fairly high and this fairly high as well, and click OK. Pity there's no repeat fill command. It is a feature I would love to see in Photoshop. So edit and fill, and again, pattern, script, all on, click OK, click OK. And you can apply it five or six times. So once you've done that, you've got this sort of result. Well, you can apply some effects. So go to filter, and you can go down to stylize and oil paint. Set stylization fairly high, cleanliness high, no lighting, click OK, and you get that. But also what you can do, image, adjustments, and levels. And you can just change the levels, so just brighten it up a bit using the input levels here. Just tweak that, and click OK. And there's your end result. A very unusual painted design, all based on that earlier gradient. Well, I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.